Hey there, today for the cut test we're going to be looking at 420HC. I'll be using a Leatherman with its um, basic 420HC Leatherman Surge. The gloves are on because these are pretty uncomfortable to hold for long durations of cutting. Um, so Leatherman's 420HC versus the um, sort of famous uh, Paul Boss Buck 420HC treatment. So you're going to see if there's too much difference between the two of them. Uh, as usual, uh, we'll just be cutting this um, fibrous rope. Uh, we'll be using the main sort of belly blade for some roll cuts kind of thing. And then um, we'll stop for each knife once they no longer reliably slice a piece of paper from the side. So, you know, one of those standard YouTuber cut tests. So once they stop doing this, then the, uh, the test will be over. Both of these have the same edge. They've both been through the work sharp. So they've got sort of a micro convex, um, micro convex edge. Both for, both hair shaving sharp at the moment. So uh, let's get to it and see how we go. So uh, Leatherman cuts uh, 44 slices before it's no longer reliably biting and slicing that paper, up to 67 from the uh, Boss heat treated 420HC, which is pretty significant really for a low end steel like this for a um, improvement of you know up around 35%. Not too bad at all, and it actually performs better than the AUS8, which would more commonly be you know people evaluate AUS8, I think at least subconsciously, with a slightly higher quality steel when um, Buck's 420HC, according to this test, will actually cut a little bit longer. Another interesting side effect during the test was that it was a lot easier to pass through the rope with this knife here because it's thinner. This is a bit of a thick, short knife, so it required a lot more downward pressure. You could probably see I was struggling to actually get through the rope, and I was continuously surprised by it still slicing the paper well. So obviously the edge on the bevel was remaining very sharp, but just it was thick behind the edge and just a thick blade in general, so not so good for actual slicing. I would, I enjoyed actually using this one more, even though I would need to slice it. But that's uh, knife design, this is steel performance, and this one performs a fair bit better. What do you think? Um, more steels to come.